Hello, Professor and Niu Yue. For question three, an exporter in the UK has invoiced a customer in the USA the sum of three hundred thousand dollars receivable in one year's time. He has under consideration two methods of hedging his exchange risk. From the title, we can know the settling US dollar spot rate is 1.8190 to 1.8402. The 12-month forward rate of dollars against the settling is 1.7703 to 1.7915. The US interest rate for 12 months is 6.65%. UK interest rate is 9.25%. The first method is by borrowing an export rate amount now for one year, converting the amount into settling and repaying the law out of the inventory receipts. Amount to borrow in US dollars is equal to amount receivable in US dollars divided by 1 plus USA interest rate equal to $300,000 divided by 1 plus 6.65% equal to $281,293.95. This amount is converted into settling at the spot rate. Settling received equal to the amount just calculated divided by 1.8402 equal to one hundred and fifteen five thousand eight hundred and sixteen pounds and fifteen three pennies. This ask rate is used because in the given forward rate settling is based is the base currency. This amount is investing at the UK interest rate for one year. Settling received after one year is equal to this number multiplied by 1 plus 9.25 percent equal to 167,000 pounds and 30 pennies. After one year, the receipt of $300,000 from the customer is used to repay the dollar loan. The net proceed in settling under the first alternative is one hundred and sixty-seven thousand pounds and thirteen pennies. And the second method is by entering into a twelve-month forward exchange contract to sell the three hundred thousand dollars. The net proceeds in settling under the second alternative is equal to amount receivable in U.S. dollars divided by twelve-month forward rate equal to $300,000 divided by 1.7915 equal to £167,457.44. The forward exchange contract is better because the net proceeds are higher. Okay, thank you. That's all my presentation.